Hey everybody, we, as you can see we are out here, we have a plethora of targets set up. It's a little bit different setup than we do, usually do. They're all kind of set up in the same general area because we're actually going to have a pistol competition today. Something we don't do very often but Wombat and I are out here and uh, basically the rules are we'll have a set start, start position and every single time you miss you're going to have to take, this, take a step forward. And it'll be on time and the number of steps that you had to take to hit all the targets. One hit for each target, and then uh, we'll tally up the scores. I'm going to be using my Six Hour M11A1. It's a 228 frame uh, sized handgun. And uh, basically, the rules are uh, when you when you miss, you have to take a step, and uh, whoever has the most steps at the end loses. So we've been running. We're going to be running all the handguns today and uh, it's gonna be a good time. So go ahead and uh, give me a mark. There I go. Boop. All right, all right. I had that one half loaded with full. Take your time. <laughs> Was pretty solid. Eh. I love six hour products. Um, I've, as you guys know, I've been running a Glock for like three years and I finally made the transition. <laughs> and uh, don't even, don't. Even. <laughs> There's so many memories. That Glock's the most fun gun that we've ever had. That's how much fun we've I had just because that gun sucks so we bad. Didn't bring it out here today because it doesn't like Serpas. Um, but you know, what are, what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Um, as you can see, the SIG is here to stay, and it's going to have a long uh, life here, I do believe. But uh, who knows? Maybe we'll find something down the road that uh, I don't like. But so far, it looks pretty good. We're going to run the MMP core that we did some upgrades on uh, to get started here, and we'll see what happens. Hey, you're not stepping. Yep. Take uh, one more step forward. Pretty though. good timing. <laughs> oh. I think I'm just gonna keep shooting that particular gun, like concealed carry and everything. I'm actually going to court. Yeah, I shot somebody with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear it was that, just. I don't know if they'd appreciate that very much. They probably wouldn't. Yeah. I like I, I like the setup. I definitely like the uh, the upgraded barrel that you put in it. Uh, yeah. I think it really sets it off. But you know. And and there's some other things in the work. There may be a couple additional trigger upgrades and maybe a compensator here in actually the pretty near future. Well, that could be neat. Well. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll throw a suppressor on it after uh, after I get one. Yeah, there's a lot of different things we can do. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and shoot it. <laughs> yeah, your surface sits back a little bit further. Huh. <laughs> Slow down, killer. Yeah, it's just so... Pretty happy with that trigger. I mean, you just gotta you gotta pressure it and then it'll go. I'm punching a little bit. Yeah, you, you gotta get. You'll feel there's not really any movement, but you'll feel it start to give you the resistance. There you go, <laughs> buddy mag. You got your dots off center. Staying on. No, it's uh. I'm shooting way too fast for one thing. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to take a bunch of steps. But uh, I think your dots off. Do you think it has just now become off? Obviously, it wasn't off without shooting it. Because it's it's shooting left, and your dots left. 
So I'm gonna hold right on, on this one and see what happens. You're hitting like you're going underneath the target or something. Really? I'm not even. I don't know what you did to my gun. But I don't know what I did to your gun either. Because <laughs> it was obviously that odd. Well, yeah, I'm, and I used the I didn't use the iron sights at all, but you know, check me. All right, guys. So we're gonna change it up here a little bit. We're gonna run the Beretta Model 92 FS here. And I've been shooting striker fire guns almost exclusively for the better part of a year. And this has been pretty much staying in the safe. We're gonna bring it back out today and see how this goes. Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty tough transition to go to a really heavy double action trigger pull uh, and standard iron sights rather than that spiffy little trigicon that we got on the MP. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not very optimistic here. But uh, go ahead and give me a mark. Up. Really? I heard it pink. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm seeing. Step. Really? <laughs> Keep stepping. Am I hitting it? I'm no. My like dust flop off it. There it is. Hey, never mind. It is very. These are shoot steel targets. I forgot. I can hit the little targets. No problem. Miss. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab another magazine real quick. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> Keep filming. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I can't believe you came with only one magazine. I did. <laughs> Miss. Wow. Got him. Got him. Yeah, I think I got it. All right. There's something there. Miss. So we're at the point where he can't advance any further because he's up against the berm. Miss. <laughs> Got him. Miss. 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 I may not be using the sights properly because... Okay, you failed on the Beretta. I did fail on the Beretta, and the funny thing is, this is what I keep on my nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, we're really gonna have to maybe grab some paper and see where exactly these are going. Because, no, um, I don't think we need paper. I think you're just gonna let me take a run with it, and uh, that'll settle it. <laughs> All right, guys, now I'm gonna run uh, the Beretta. I haven't run a Beretta in probably like three years. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time. But uh, I'm actually a fan because I shoot it really well. We'll see, or at least I used to shoot it really well. We'll I do see. not shoot it very well. We're gonna see how I do today. Uh, but back when I used to carry one before Mr. Tactical Bacon bought it off of me, uh, I used to shoot it really well. So we'll see. But anyway, go ahead. Mark. Ah, stop. <laughs> Step. Step. 
and that'll that'll do <laughs> so eh, was it awesome no i pulled a couple shots on this guy here and then that gong i don't know what happened to it like the it, the round splash like behind it i must have just missed the top of it i don't know but uh yeah i like it because it's got a really long barrel and this in the bore axis or not the bore axis the sighting radius is really long so it just works for me uh, like Wombat mentioned earlier, the trigger pull is really, really gushy, and it's just, you know, it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, especially in the first round, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's a mil-spec handgun. You know, it was built to somebody else's specification than mine. So, I don't mind it, and looks like the targets did, so. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> So we're going to take a little run here with the M11A1 from Sig Sauer. I mean, Sigs are solid guns. They're built very well. They're very accurate. They're very reliable. Personally, I do not own one. I don't really intend to own one. I'm not a big fan of the way the controls are set up. I find the decocker hard to get to. And while they are a good quality product, don't get me wrong, I'm not disparaging it at all here, but I do think that you're paying a little bit too much money for what you're getting. I think you can get a solid, reliable handgun that's just as good for a lot less. But uh, that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this thing. It does have a really high bore axis. Take a step forward. I keep forgetting. I'm focusing on shooting here. You took a step forward. You didn't need to. Yeah, I'm not used to that. It's so far back on the frame, it seems like. <laughs> no, it's only that target, man. Got him. Now, you have to take the far target. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't hit the gong. <laughs> I'm not sighted right. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not able to see any splashes today. You know what happened? Is you put that ignorant uh, red dot on that <laughs> That's MP. That's exactly what happened. And you I can't shoot it. I Glock 26 pretty well, though. We'll it's see got what a happens. much coarser sight uh, than the SIG and the Beretta do. You see that there's daylight on either side of your front post on both this pistol and the Beretta 92, whereas on the Glock, your front sight post and the uh, rear sights, it's just flush with that. There's no daylight on either side of it. So it makes it just kind of, in my opinion, actually a little easier to acquire a Glock sight. Well, it, it's all a matter of personal preference, but the uh, the thing about that is the you gotta remember that your Glock- You're a better shooter than me. Having that more fine adjustment on your sights uh, is probably beneficial, but if you shoot as badly as I do, having something that's a more simple setup like the Glock sights, actually, I, I do like them. Well, the Glock sights, you got to remember too, buddy, that uh, you're shooting a 26. A 17 is going to have a completely different look because it's got uh, a longer sighting it's radius. Between them. True, true. Yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and move to the Glock. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> now we're going to move to a little bit uh, shorter setup. We have a Glock 26 here. And y'all know that I'm not a fan of Glock, like, at all. Hopefully we'll see if this thing actually works today and doesn't malfunction on us. It generally works pretty well. But uh, we'll see. I don't shoot Glocks the best either because you have to, like, break your wrist to shoot it. But I kind of like shoot, it. I did shoot one for three years, so hopefully I'll be able to call that back. And go. Oh, it's so small. Step. Step. Hit. Step. Good. Ah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Got it. Go Glock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glocks do shoot the same ammunition faster than other guns. Well, that one was way high. I'm not taking so far. They do, I mean. That thing's getting like 300 more feet per second than if it would be coming out of like a Beretta or a Springfield or something. There you go. Just because it of says Glock What kind crap are you talking back there? Huh? What kind of crap are you talking back there? I said, I mean, it knocked that over because the Glock gives you like an extra three or 400 feet per second more than, like if I would shoot that through my Beretta even with a longer barrel, it's, it comes out faster from the Glock. It does. I read it on the internet. I know a guy that likes Glock and he, he like has a concealed carry permit and everything like he knows so much and he said that that's what he said just telling you he knows it's glock we're gonna run a little uh, glock 26 here this is a gun that i conceal carry sometimes so now that today i have a chance to take it out put a few rounds through it and uh just kind of stay up to date on that it's probably a good idea <laughs> yeah hey uh run down there and set up your poppers do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. These short mags are really difficult to manipulate for reloads. Wow. It's pretty lousy shooting there, bro. What happens if you run out of ammo? I die. <laughs> Slow down. Starts out not too shabby. That one hit over the horizon there. I don't know why, man. Got him. <laughs> that actually compensated a little high. Yeah. Good work. So, I mean, at concealed carry distances, we're pretty effective. <laughs> but, uh. Maybe you should rethink the carrying that uh, XDS and uh, use your Glock 26. Well, we are gonna be getting the XDS out here too, shortly, oh, because yeah? that is actually my uh, most often carried gun. Yeah, cool deal, man. We'll see. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I just wanted to uh, quickly point out one of the pieces of equipment that we were using today that made it really easy to get the work done. We got a lot more shooting done today than we typically would have. Uh, and that is the Serpa QD system that we have on all of our rigs. And what this allows us to do is quickly change handguns between uh, the various shooters. I can quickly rip this off and switch to Wombat's Beretta or his, or his M&P, uh, or he can take this from me if he wants to. Makes it really easy. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can get some uh, of our contacts to get you guys a discount on this sort of thing. Cause it's a really nice system if you're out running with your friends at the range uh, and you have a large group, uh, you can pass your guns around, make it very easy to do uh, holster draws if that's allowed at your range. Um, that said, I just also wanted to say uh, that check out our sponsors down in the description. Uh, they help keep the channel free. So there's lots of discounts down there for various awesome products that uh, we've identified some really awesome uh, manufacturers that uh, are very cool to support us as well. And they, uh, like I said, they help keep the channel free. So. Until next time, thanks for watching.